right, I'm back with another tutorial for the butterfly. This one is gonna be a fast-paced run-through of the B part. Sounds like this. Quick note about the bowings. When I've written in a slur, that indicates where your bow should continue moving in the same direction. That's just one example of a bowing that works out well for this tune. J slip jigs can be tricky when you get your bow backwards, so they usually have a lot of slurs to help sort that out. This is one example of some slurs that turn out with your bow the right way around on most of the main accents that you need. So I recommend learning it and then throw it out the window if you wanna do your own. So this one starts off on the A string and when we use our second finger on the A string in this key, we're gonna be wanting a low two. The tab on the sheet does say L2, so that's to distinguish from where yesterday on the D string we were on two. When it, when it doesn't say anything and just says regular two, that's default next to the third finger. And here low two means second finger is gonna be buddied right up with the first finger. And that's gonna be a slur on the A string, one, two, one, low two. And then we have a slur open E, one E and then a nice long low to E. And then a slur again, one A, low to A. Low to E, open E. And then a three pack, we're gonna play three A on the down bow and one A, open A on the up bow. And this next bar I really enjoy. It does the long, short, long, short, long, short pattern throughout the whole bar. And it goes 1A, low A. I mean, 1A, low 2A. These yellow goggles make me think weird. And then open E, 1E. Low 2E, 3E. So let me play that together in context. And then this pattern of long, short, long, short is gonna continue for two more of our three packs. So we're gonna go four, three, two, oh. And I just said two there because now we're default low two E. Anytime we have an E, a second finger on E, it's low two. So let me play that again since I kind of talked right in the middle of it, broke it up a bit, so. And then we're gonna finish off this bar down on the A string with three A, and then one A, open A, slurred together. Just the last two notes slurred. Yeah, because that puts us on a nice down bow again to be able to repeat the B part. close-up for your for the visual learners out there and then one little tip or trick about this part is when you have a low two a lot of times that'll make the three and the fourth finger pull down a little bit flat so just keep an ear out for that especially when you're on the E string and just make sure and reach a little bit more with three and four. And we could go ahead and just do a little calibration exercise and play these notes on the E string. I overcompensated a little bit there, but you're, you're gonna play with prettier intonation than I will anyway. Let's do that one more time. Okay, butterflies, enjoy practicing the B parts. I'll be back with the C part in another video.